Hey y'all, Monk Joseph here with the Broken Buddha. Um, today I just want to touch back on the uh, Challenging a Praying Monk video. I think that I may put some people off their taste for studying and uh, encountering praying monks with that, but let me explain something really quick with this. It wasn't like, I wasn't saying that if you try to have a discussion with me about religion that I'm going to like say things that will destroy your reality. What it is and what I'm trying to explain and what I should have said is that it's almost my job as a yogi to understand both science and the religious cores. Um, I don't want to say better than other people. It's not that you need to understand it better. I take the life of your sage, more than likely, I take the life and works of your sage more seriously than you do because I have a thing to figure out. So I've studied, you know, all the different sages and prophets relentlessly and all the Mahasiddhas, all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas. Um, and at the same time, I have studied science, quantum physics. Um, my knowledge of quantum physics is pretty good for a guy who has a GED. Like if you really, uh, I've wrapped with some people who knew some things and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I'm able to, to always, always been able to hold my own. So if you, and if you're up to current ed, current quantum physics information, it's actually like very interestingly close to a lot of like ancient scriptures speaking of what you see on the surface is not the actual occurrence. Um, yeah, quantum physics has the same thing, <clears throat> just in a more physical sense. So that's what I meant by that. Um, I just, I will, whatever religion you're coming at to me with, I will correct the things that you have either heard wrong or read wrong because you didn't actually finish reading the whole thing or something, um, or you didn't read all of it. You know, you can't get the understanding of any religion by reading one book written by one guy of one sect. Every religion has multiple sects and subsects of uh, different different groups, and they, they all understand differently. Um, yeah, like typically in Tibetan Buddhism, there's, there's true, two main trains of philosophical thought um, but they're all trying to get you to understand a non-conceptual idea or to get your brain wired to, to get to a point of the non-conceptual idea. So one will describe it and one is get, trying to get you there. And I'm sure there are a lot of arguments with people over which ones are trying to wire a brain and which ones are trying to explain the thing you see after you wire a brain. So it's all, all of it's way more complex than people will tell you about their own religion because they don't know. Um, even something simple that everybody thinks they know, like Christianity. I mean, the, the savior of sage's name was Yehoshua, shortened to Yeshua, in English is Joshua. But we all, everybody calls the sage uh, Jesus based off the Latin Jesus, based off of a mistranslation between, uh, from Greek to Latin, of Yeshua to however it was. It was Les, Yeshua to Lesius to Jesus to Jesus. <clears throat> and I may have said the, uh, the Greek one wrong. I don't speak Greek. Um, but it's spelled like Lesius. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, you know, by all means, feel free to ask me questions. Like, just what I was saying is in the event that you were to challenge me, you know, I think you what you know religiously and universally is wrong, and what I know for my religion is better. I'm going to use your religion against you to beat you in that debate. And that's what I meant when I said I would, like, shatter your reality. Like, But, I mean, I guess technically, if you're challenging, you know, anybody, you should expect... The result of having your reality uh, indifferent afterwards or just changed afterwards because if you get in if you challenge a fighting monk you know and because you think you're tough or want to validate that you're tough you're going to realize a reality that you're not and if you challenge a praying monk thinking that your knowledge that you learned in a sentence that you read about a religion one time is absolute you're going to realize it's not um, but i always give people pieces back I, I never take without giving like if i take pieces that you thought were structural i'll replace them with better bricks and that's why you would convert. You know, it's not like you convert because you lost. You convert because you see the reality of somebody's religion being better than you. But typically, we don't convert. Yogis do not go around trying to convert people to their religion. Um, it's pretty tricky and difficult. And the politics are crazy hard to swim through. So, all right, there you have it. So feel free to challenge a praying monk, but don't challenge a praying monk. All right.